Good morning, Vikings. This is your KVIKS News Bulletin for Thursday, August 8th, 2024. My name is Stevie. The periods today are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Today at Hilo High School. School IDs. School ID cards will be available during recess and lunch this week. If you do not have your school ID card, please come to C215 to get a new one. Thank you. Chromebook distribution. One-to-one -one Chromebook distribution continues today and runs through Friday, August 9th in C215. For freshmen, your English teacher will bring your class to pick up devices. For students in grade 10 to 12, you may pick up devices during recess, lunch, or after school only. Please bring your signed one-to-one -one technology provision form to pick up a device. Freshmen receive this form in their beginning of school year folder. All other students can pick up a form in C215. If you have any questions, please see a tech in room C117. What's new, Vikings? Student Association. Hey, class of 2028. Are you planning to run for freshman class council? It is an awesome way to make high school memorable and make a difference in your community. Remember to turn in your packet by Friday, August 9th at 3 p.m. to the office, Miss Switzer's box. If you don't have a packet, you can get one at room R13. We hope that you run for student council for an amazing chance to show your skills. Key Club. Hi Vikings! If you did not receive a new member form or recommitment form for Key Club yesterday during the meeting, please come and get your form in front of A16 during recess and lunch. Japan Club. Ohio gozaimasu everyone! If you are interested in becoming a member of the Japan Club this school year, please join the Japan Club informational meeting this Friday, August 9th during lunch in room P3, Shata Sensei's room. Club registration information. Upcoming community service events and fun cultural events for the school year will be shared during the meeting. Please stop by P3 Shiatsu Sensei's room if you have any questions. John at SCU Membership Drive. Hey Vikings, are you interested in learning about money and making a difference in your community while you're in high school? Our very own Hilo High Student Credit Union, sponsored by the Hawaii Community Federal Credit Union, is a great place to start. Making an account with our credit union is a great and easy way to learn about financial literacy while you're in high school. And becoming a board member provides you with the opportunities to do service projects out and in the community. Until August 9th, we are having a membership drive. That's right. If new members join up until August 9th, a select few will be chosen to win some awesome prizes. So what are you waiting for? Join the Student Credit Union in room A13 today. And if you'd like to become a board member, our first meeting of the year will be at lunch on Monday, August 12, 2024. So stop by and bring a friend if you're interested. Speech and Debate Club Meeting. Attention all Vikings. The Speech and Debate Club's first informal meeting will be next Wednesday, Monday, August 12th during lunch recess. See you in Mrs. Baum's room, A12A. SCU Meeting. Interested in making a difference in your community through service projects, all while learning how to manage your finances on the way? Stop by room A16 on Monday, August 12th at lunch where the Student Credit Union will be having its first meeting of the year. Even if you're not sure what our credit union does or how you might like to get involved, just stop by and explore the opportunities in store for you. Better yet, bring a friend along too and start the year off right. Girls Basketball if you're interested in playing basketball this year, please visit the main office for an application. Physicals are required and will need to be done within the next month if you apply. Thank you. KVikes will be back after these messages. Hey Vikings, have you ever wanted to try out singing, acting, or dancing? Maybe you feel like you could be the next big movie star. Or maybe you'd rather stay backstage being the linchpins, keeping the show running and making it look fabulous. Whatever creative endeavor you want to pursue, the Performing Arts Learning Center has you covered. Make sure you come to the auditorium at recess or lunch to pick up registration forms and see if you want to join. Forms are due Friday, August 23rd, and the first parent meeting is after school at 4. The first day of PALC will be on Tuesday, August 27th, and we will be meeting Tuesdays and Thursdays until further notice. Please, we need techies! Students, your attire reflects the quality of your conduct, schoolwork, and prepares you for the workforce when you're out in the community. You represent Hilo High School. All students are expected to dress and groom themselves neatly, dressing modestly with clothes suitable for school activities without distracting others or interfering with the learning environment. Interference with the learning environment will not be tolerated and may lead to disciplinary action. Before we go over the list of inappropriate clothing, here are two of the required items students must wear on their person. 
their school issued identification card, and footwear must be worn all times on campus. Here are the following clothing items that are considered inappropriate for school. Shirts and blouses must have straps. Students must not wear clothing that reveals undergarments such as underwear, bras, boxer shorts, etc. Shorts and skirts which are too short and expose private parts of the body or reveal undergarments. Short shorts and short skirts are not to be worn. Clothes and accessories must not contain graphics that promote gangs, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and electronic smoking products. Racism, violence, sex and nudity, sexism, profanity, and vulgarity, or any other symbols determined by the school to be inappropriate. Students must not take off shirts to expose upper bodies except during swimming, physical education, and other authorized school activities. Head coverings such as caps, hoodies, visors, and non-prescription dark or colored glasses must be removed in classrooms, instructional settings, law assemblies, prom, or as instructed by school officials. All faculty and staff members are expected to teach, guide, and train students about the importance of appropriate dress in various life situations. In cases where student attire is grossly unacceptable, the student will be asked to wear a school-provided t-shirt. Repeated violations of the dress standard despite good faith effort to educate the student can result in contact with the parent or guardian, warnings and redirects, and eventually suspension on the basis of insubordination. Every effort will be made to explain to the student and parent or guardian on why the particular clothing is considered inappropriate for the school setting and how this relates to our student's success in gaining and keeping employment in the workplace. An acceptable replacement or cover-up will be issued by administration and documented in accordance to Chapter 19. For convenience, references, IDs, and more information on Chapter 19, please visit the Hilo High School website at hilohigh.org to access the Parent and Student Handbook, where you will have access to the dress code, Chapter 19, and more. Here's today's menu. For wiki, breakfast burrito, salsa cup, pineapple chunks. For lunch, chicken tenders, potato wedges, baby carrots, edamame, and a whole grain roll. Thank you for watching. Find more announcements and watch the bulletin again at hilohigh.org or download the mobile app. Follow at Hilo High School on Instagram and Facebook. This concludes today's announcements. Have a great day, Vikings.